Hey guys. Oh, my hand's huge. Sorry about that. <laughs> I wanted to show you what I've got going on here. So I'm starting the lemon paintings. I, If you follow me, I've talked about that I was going to do. I started with this 12 by 16 pineapple and um, which turned out really fun. And then using the same color palette that I saved, I did a 12 by 12 cactus. You can, you can see the yellows are similar to the yellows in the lemon. And now I'm starting three lemons, but the background dried dark on me and I was kind of wondering if it was gonna work. So I started palette knife painting one of the lemons and I'm gonna lighten this background up and then I'll be back. Okay, I changed my mind as I was painting the first lemon here. Uh, the background was too dark, I didn't like it. And so I took some titanium white. It's much more transparent uh, than zinc white. I put it in a, just a little plastic lid and I'm using the same brush as I used for the background. And I'm just whitewashing the background because uh, it's transparent. The white will dry, this will all dry darker. And you can see I'm pretty much to here. This corner is much darker than that corner. And then I also, I had started palette knifing this lemon. I put some titanium white where I want the highlight to be and I'll put some on this lemon too. Uh, to make sure the background doesn't show through and then the highlights pop better. I think I'm going to like this better. Uh, I'm going to finish whitewashing the background and then I'll come back when I start painting more of the lemons. Oh, this is this would be a really good painting for a beginning painting because it's just three almost round shapes. That one's more oval. Um, that way you can focus more on your background and your shading. and It would be a good one to start with. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. I guess I should move my palette first here. I've lightened the background. Um, and now I'm wondering if it's too light, but I can always darken it. I, I think one of the things I'll definitely need to do is get the little cast shadow in to see how it anchors the lemons, <clears throat> excuse me, to see if I like it. Um, on my palette, I have titanium white. That's just a little burnt umber. I don't know if I'm gonna need it uh, right now. I would use it in some of the really dark green in the little uh, area where the stem connects. Uh, this is Naples Yellow that I used on the previous uh, two paintings, the pineapple and the cactus. Uh, this is, or this, no, nope, this one right here is a light yellow. Uh, sometimes it's like a light lemon yellow is the name of the paint. Um, and that's a red oxide and I'm just mixing colors to use so it's starting to take shape. So this is a little uh, light lemon yellow, a little Naples yellow and some white is that color right there. And I'm using the same palette knife that I used on the other two paintings. I think it's good sometimes to see, like I didn't like the background and now I've lightened the background and now I'm like, I'm not so sure about the background. It's not like you can change it. So this is what I meant about how um, lemons could be a, a good, easy one to start with. It's not all the, the pineapple is all those, you know, then I pick up my canvas and turn it to try and get the, everything going the direction I wanted it to go in. So again, my, I, like I've mentioned before, my light source is coming from here. It's also kind of coming more over the top unless I change this a little bit, which I might, because I'm going to have a, a little bit of a shadow. Oh, and then I painted, I might actually put some white, even though I've got my knife's a little dirty, just some yellow that won't matter. So I put some um, mixing white over here, but it doesn't cover as well. 
This is a titanium, so I'm gonna put some titanium on it. Let it dry. That'll help it pop out. So tomorrow I'm gonna do a new chalk video, which won't post for about a week to 10 days. That's about how far out my videos are. Um, and I might do a cardinal. I've got it all ready. I've been trying to figure out how to chalk a cow. I keep, I think I keep making it too complicated. I just uh, posted a pig. No, I don't think I've posted that one yet. I'm, uh, spoiler alert, I've got a pig video coming <laughs> in chalk on my driveway. It'll be a chalk, a pig done in chalk. Um, and it turned out cute. And I, I figured out how to simplify the pig. But it's, um, I could do much more complicated, but it takes me two hours to do the simple ones on the driveway. And uh, gosh, I think I'm gonna set up my alarm for 5 a.m. It's supposed to be, there's a heat advisory here in Nebraska. I think it's supposed to be, I think we might get into the hundreds tomorrow and the humidity is horrible. So I'll get that chalk video done before uh, while I have shade because my neighbor across the street, his house shades the driveway for a little while in the morning. My cat Freckles, who you've seen, probably seen a few of my videos, is sound asleep over in her bed. Post a photo of your pets. I love seeing your pets. Put in the comments. You know, I might do that. See there, I put a little of the straight lemon yellow on there. I might. Definitely need to get the shadow in there before I play too much. <laughs> I need to listen to what I say. So this is kind of like, um, of course you would turn, uh, sorry, I uh, think of something and then I think of something else and I don't say the first thing. This is a little bit like frosting a cake. if you've ever done that. And then of course you would, what I was gonna say is you could, you would turn the cake to make it a little easier, but since you guys are watching me painting, I'm not turning it. But I probably will stop the video here so I can turn it, put it in my lap. Okay, I'll be back in a little while. The lemons are taking shape. Um, I'm going to put a little closer. I'm not sure how many layers I'll put on this lemon, but you can see I'm letting it skip a little, which kind of gives a hint of the lemon peel. Here, let me show you. Oh, that one's not done. Or this, none of them are done. But when you let the knife skip a little, you get a little more texture. And when I mean skip, um, I have maybe a little bit of paint or it's kind of dried on the flat part. And then I'm just rubbing it flat rather than, you know, scraping paint down. I'm rubbing it flat on top of the canvas. And sometimes I'll catch the texture of the canvas. I thought I would uh, pop in and show you I'm making some more progress. I put a little brown dot. So I remember that there's like a, oh, it's, it's this part sticking out from the lemon. You know, after I spent all the time lightening it, I think I'm gonna want it darker here so this has more contrast. <laughs> we'll see, I keep telling myself, put in the sh I'll put in the shadows here in a little bit and see how that works and see what I like about it or don't like about it. Now you can 
same time I'm just kind of thinking, and this I think is gonna be too light, but I'm just gonna do it so I don't lose the edge. And I'll probably lose the dot here in a minute, but I should be able to see it through the yellow a little bit so it reminds me. Oh, and I'm gonna need, that's the same color right there. I'm gonna need to do something there. So yeah, I am um, palette knife stroking in the direction of the shape so it looks rounder. And then I'm also, I think I'm gonna leave it in there. I'm. I put a little reflective light. Usually the darkest area is right here. And then there's a little reflective light and then there's the shadow. Um, we'll see how I like it when I get further along. Yep, I just lost my dot. I do have a reference photo. Um, I think this one's from Pixabay. It's P-I-X-A-B-A-Y, I believe, dot com. This is some of the Naples yellow. So I put on layers, let layers dry, put on more layers, see what I like. And really, if I go darker up here, I don't, I don't think it will hurt at all. So it just adds more depth to the background and the layers. That's a little too roundy, a little too, that needs some work. Maybe bring up I'll let that dry before I mess with it more. Oh, um, this will be too late by the time I this video gets posted. But you should you should all should follow my uh, Facebook fan page. It's at Annie Tro, Tro is T-R-O-E. Um, I'm gonna try this and see if you can see that. Oh, it's a little high, I'll turn it one more time. Um, I do giveaways on the Facebook page and I'm giving away a little four by four chickadee painting today. So like I said, if you go there, when you see this video, the giveaway will, will already be done. Um, I do once a month. Usually towards the end of the month, sometimes it just changes if I get busy or I'm working on a tight deadline. The people seem to really like them. It's so fun for me to give, give away the painting. I'm going to be doing Christmas ornaments soon. As I'm painting this, it's the end of July, but I'll have to get a start on those. I paint them on little four inch by four inch canvas panels. And I drill holes in the panel, put a wire hanger. They're cute. Cute, cute, and I only sell them for $15. Okay. They're getting there. I wanted you to take a look here. I uh, didn't paint for very long since I last left you. Left you. I'm having trouble talking. <laughs> what a difference it makes when I put in where the stem goes. There's a little brown spot on this lemon, and then that's where the stem goes on that one. Really makes a difference. So I definitely think I need to get in the drop shadows to see uh, how it's gonna pop. Oh, when I say pop, I use that term a lot. 
like this pops against this. There's a lot of contrast. So pretty much when I say pop, I mean contrast. Okay, I'll be back in a little bit. I painted a little bit off camera. Uh, this is upside down from just the shot a minute ago. Um, just to see if I'm going in the right direction. And I think I am. Um, it's also a little weird when it's upside down. And then what I've done is I put a little matte medium on my palette and I'm just mixing it with my pea soup green. So basically what I'm doing is, um, let's see if you can see this. It might be too subtle to see. I'm basically glazing so I can see the color below and I'm using a smaller brush um, just to make myself go a little slower because when I lighten this, I used a really big brush and then I'm like, oh, that was a mistake. So while it'll take me longer to do it with a smaller brush, it slows me down a little bit. Kind of see what I'm, see what I'm doing. So like, can you see, I went over it, there's a white line here and then I went over it, you can still kind of see the white, whitish line. I think you can see that. So I have it upside down so I can paint the, the bottom of the canvas so it blends in. Oops, now there has a little less matte medium and you can see that it's darker. And so now I just added some straight up matte medium and it thinned it out and made it much more transparent. I think I might like that better. I think that background just got too light on me. Um, actually, it's a, a nice painting. Just maybe needs a few more little touches, but I, as I mentioned before, I'm hoping to sell it all three together. And I think people like that. Um, there are three sort of medium, small, well, they're not real small, medium-sized paintings. Um, and then they can, when you have three of them, and they're different sizes, you can arrange them in your space much more easily. And I think it can look inter more interesting sometimes than one great big painting. It just depends on where it's gonna go and what the buyer, what the person that buys it likes, you know. All right, I'm leaning in pretty good here. I'm probably gonna paint a little more and come back so I can grab that edge. Be back in a little bit. Alrighty, I think um, I think we're getting there. So what I did is I mixed some of the pea soup with a little bit of white and some matte medium. Let's grab a little matte medium there. And I'm, I was paint, I realized I was painting over my shadows and I should show you because it, it, it um, ends up sort of blending them in better with the background. Even though I think I'm gonna come in with some dark brown to really make that edge stronger. So I wanted to mention that. Oh, and I've got, oh, I'm using a, um, hmm. That's not a half, I always say it's not a half inch filbert. So it must be like a three eighths inch. Oh wait, it says right on here. It says it's a number nine. That would depend on the company and the, the brand. I'm just cleaning my brush off a little bit because I had some paint pretty high up on it and it was bugging me. I think I'm gonna take, um, before I go too much further here, I'm gonna put, there we go, I wanted to put a little, little in there. Oops, my palette in the way, sorry guys. I think I'm gonna take this this might be too light. And then paint along. No, I don't think it is too light. Sorry, I got quiet. <laughs> start thinking, I start talking quiet. <clears throat> Excuse me. So 
So even though I'm kind of going around this lemon, I don't want to go the whole way. I need to remember that my brush strokes are horizontal and vertical in my background. So make sure I repeat that. I think that's going to make it just sing a little bit better. We could be close to done. I'll uh, come back in a little bit and we'll see. I hope you can see what I'm doing. So I am. Um, I took some of my pea soup green, put a little more Naples yellow in it, a little white, and then, as I mentioned, I'm glazing with the matte medium. And then I had originally put it up here, so you can see that little warmer area, and I went, oh, I should put it down here over the beginnings of my shadow because you get a little subtle feel of reflective color from the lemon onto the surface that it's sitting on. We'll put some, <clears throat> goodness, my voice is kind of raspy today. We'll put some over here. It may be too subtle to see on the video. But glazing can be in loads of fun because you just put thin layer, transparent layer over transparent layer. It can really make it look yummy. So I don't, I'm trying to, I don't know if you can see that. I also might grab just a smidge of the yellow, put it straight on the canvas, grab a little uh, matte medium. You might be able to see that. Okay, I just wanted to tell you what I was doing there because I'm like, oh, that's a good tip. I was gonna turn the video off, but I'm not. I looked in the, um, at my camera and see how it, see if the yellow's showing. Oh, and I think, I think that needs to be a little lighter. I think it got a little dark right there. Okay, I'll be back in a little while. So a couple things to talk about here. I was using this small brush in the background to slow myself down, which wasn't a bad idea, but then I got too much detail in the background. Um, I'll stick a photo in of the three paintings. Um, but if you look, whoops, sorry. This is here, we'll grab this one, it's slipping on me. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but my brush strokes are quite big in this background. And so even just, um, so I went back to the, the brush that I had used for the background and even just putting in the big strokes on the top third of the background really helps. And I went darker, <laughs> which, you know, sometimes you just can't get it right the first couple times. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna put in some bigger brush strokes in this background. So my glazing hopefully won't go away, but it might, but it's pretty, the brush strokes are pretty calm where the glazing is. I, I think I can get away with just some big brush strokes here. But um, if I wanted to go with these paintings, the pineapple and the cactus, you can, I don't know if you can see it. See that one, really you can see the big, big brush strokes. And then there's a lot of littler ones there. So anyway, I think it's good. Uh, when I was teaching in-person water, color classes before the pandemic. It was really good for the students to see how I make adjustments, fix things, what I like, what I don't like. And it doesn't mean that I'm right, but it gives you an idea of how you can fix things if you don't like them. And it lets you know that, gosh, you know, someone who's been painting for a long time certainly isn't perfect. Okay, I'm gonna concentrate on bigger brush strokes and I'll be back. Alrighty. So this is way better. I've got the big brush strokes back. Um, the little ones are just fine, but not if I want it to go with the other paintings. Oh, I've got paint on my hand. <laughs> um, I took a couple photos. I'll insert those into the, the final video. And now I'm taking some straight up burnt umber and I've put just a little dark area in the shadow. 
And you can see it really anchors it more compared to the one on the end here. It's kind of, this one's a little wimpier. So I just have straight up burn number on my palette. And I'm just using a little teeny knife brush. And I just, um, my reference photo actually has the darker areas bigger, but I'm just kind of putting it in the middle. And the uh, burnt umber is quite transparent for a dark color. So I may have to come back and... Sorry, you can tell I'm concentrating. Come back and fix it. I'll make it a little darker. So now I'm just cleaning off my brush. And I'm just gonna... I don't know if you can even see that on, on the video. I'm just kind of blending that in a little bit. I think all that's left for me to do is to sign it. I think, I think we're done. So this is really a study in values and textures, which is really good. Oh yeah, that looks good. I'm looking at the, the cam, the video camera. That's fun. Okay. So I'm going to mix a little, oh, I want it lighter than this color here. I'm going to scoot it over some too. So it's more in front of me. So I'm going to take some of this color and add it to the white. That should be light enough. And normally I use a, a liner brush, but this guy's. This guy, I don't know if you can even see him, is pretty small. And so I, um, on the front of all my paintings, because I paint some really small ones. Oh, that's going to need to be lighter. Um, I put my initials, A and T, and then one dot for favorite son and one dot for favorite daughter. And then I put my signature on the back of the painting. So that way they're all the same, they're all consistent. Um, the A and the T and the two dots fits so much better on a little four by four painting. I mean, my signature would easily fit on this one, but I like it that it's consistent. All right, let's see if that's light enough. I'm gonna grab just a smidge of water. Oh, I could grab, well, I don't wanna grab the matte medium. I could, but I'll make it more transparent. So I'm just gonna grab a, these paints have been around for Oh, my palette for maybe 10 days. I put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm gonna get a little sticky. And I don't wanna do what I'm asking. And I've got a bunch of paint up, up the brush there. All right. Let's try it again. Here we go. I probably should have used the liner brush. It got a little fat on me there. Plus, I would normally, I think I may stop the camera. I normally would uh, put it in my lap, sign it so I can get on top of it. So, you guys, I'm going to say goodbye. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of this one. I think there's a lot of stuff to learn in this one. Um, what else do I need to say? Oh, I'm supposed to say hit that bell so you get notified when I put out new videos. Um, please like it. Oh, and when you comment, that helps so much. It helps um, YouTube show it to more people or if it, you're seeing it on Facebook, that helps Facebook show it to more people. Um, I think I've said everything I'm supposed to say. Awesome to connect with you. I'm going to wave goodbye. Look forward to chatting with you soon. Bye, guys. Hey, everybody. I'm back. I know I said goodbye. So I like the lemon paintings the way I ended it in the video just a minute ago, but it didn't go, the yellows weren't going with my other two paintings, which was what I wanted to achieve. So I thought I'd show you a quick little video of the three of them together. I darkened the lemons, 
um, my favorite daughter was telling me, I don't know how many times, that the lemons needed to have a little bit more orange in them to go with the other paintings. They need to be darker. And I wasn't listening. And then I uh, also darkened the background a little bit, or quite a bit, but a little bit just recently where that the line is at the one third, uh, top one third. Anyway, I just wanted to show you, <laughs> you should listen to your daughters. Okay, guys, talk to you soon.